To finalize the long-term provisional for delivery, remove any flash from the tissue side of the provisional. Because a light coat of Vaseline was previously applied to the provisional, it can be easily and quickly removed. Ideally, you don't want any acrylic on the actual collar of temporary copings. Once the excess flash has been removed, look for any voids and or any areas that may need additional material. The objective is to have a smooth and hygienic transition from the provisional up to the metal margin of the temporary cylinders. Syringe the material into these areas and prior to the material setting up, or if using a light cure material, prior to light curing, smooth and shape the material as needed. The more precise you are with applying and shaping the material, the more you will be able to reduce the finishing and polishing time. Please keep in mind that while this process of finalizing the long-term provisional is taking place, the surgical clinician is typically bone grafting if needed and suturing the patient in preparation for receiving the new provisional. From an occlusal view, evaluate the provisional for any voids that may need to be filled in and or any areas that need additional material added to in order to improve the contour of a tooth or teeth. Syringe material into these areas and smooth and shape as needed. To prevent unwanted material from flowing into the temporary cylinders, place any length plastic blockout plug, making sure it protrudes above the area you are adding material to. If needed, fill in any voids in the injection sites on the buckle for those patients who demand high aesthetics, if a white material was used to loot the temporary cylinders, covering these areas with a pink material may be needed. If so, leave a recessed area at each of the injection sites, or you can remove some material with a small instrument before it sets or before you light cure it. Another option would be to use a small round burr after the material is set and create these recessed areas. Then using a pink bisacrylic material, simply apply a small amount into these areas, then smooth and shape as desired and light cure. If bulk reduction or additional finishing is needed, use an acrylic burr. Next, use a rubber point for final smoothing and shaping. Using a stiff bristle brush works nicely for blending the looted material to the base of the provision and for removing any flash around the metal collars of the temporary cylinders. Moving the bristle brush in a circular motion will help to prevent cutting of the acrylic. Very often, this is all that is needed to prepare the provisional for final polishing. The long-term provisional arrives fully polished. The only areas that need to be high shined are the areas that have been added to and or modified. Using a soft bristle brush with a high shine polish compound will create a smooth and hygienic surface.